Hi guys, Chris here with the ASUS Transformer Book T100HA. I've been asked now if I could please show the tablet powering on. How long does it take to start up? And I'll just demonstrate that here in this video and also a closer look at the keyboard that someone's asked me to have a look more at the docking mechanism, the quality of the keyboard. I'll cover that here in this video. So if you just quickly push the power button and just tap it, it'll show you your remaining battery level. Just comes up here. So I have roughly about 70% there in the status LED just next to the camera comes on. There's also a status LED right here next to the power button. Now, if I hold that down for, I think it's about four seconds or so, or three, it'll flash, and now it starts to boot up. So we'll have a look and see just how long that's gonna take to start up. You might wanna skip ahead in this video because this, I think it takes relatively long time, about 30 seconds, maybe less. Actually, a lot less than that. Boot up time varies for some reason. Now, there's no Windows updates running in the background or anything like that, so it does vary at times. Oracle, okay, so that's that's the boot up time there. So it's relatively quick, not bad at all. I'm sure that's faster than definitely a lot of older PCs running hard drives, 10 times faster. And now the keyboard, I'll give you a quick look at the keyboard. Now, as I mentioned in my unboxing video, the screen will only go back this far and not any further than that. So that's a little bit of an issue. I would have loved it if they'd added it maybe another 10 or 20 degrees because it, if you put it on the side here, you, you can see that's as far as it's gonna go back. Now it's obviously due to the design limits of this tablet that have done this, they haven't put so much of a weight in the keyboard to counterweight it. So if the screen was gonna be tipping back maybe uh, you know about another inch more or so, uh, you'd have to add more weight to the keyboards. That's probably why they've done that because then it would just tip over because even at the maximum angle there, it is susceptible to tipping over. And you of course do have that freedom to put it at any kind of angle there. So if you wanted to have the keyboard more just straight up or something because you're talking to someone on Skype, you have the tablet rested on a table, then you can you can do that of course and have the front facing camera aiming even down, which, which is handy. That problem is that limited viewing angle there that you can move the screen. Now, when it comes to the quality of the keyboard, it, as I mentioned in the, the unboxing video, there's a bit of bounce to it and it is a noisy keyboard and it's cramped, okay? This is 10.1 inches, that's normal. You can see there when I'm typing, there's a bit of flex, a bit of bounce, and if I just quickly type uh, hello here, hello and how are you? You can see that it's a little noisy, a little kind of noisy, the keyboard, and I've got a strange layout here. There's one person mentioned, you know, what's going on with the keyboard, but well, that's because I have the uh, the French version here. That's all I could get hold of at the time. And undocking it, there's no more release button here, so you don't have to push down anymore. You just simply hold it and pull. And it does lock in there quite nicely. There are, you can feel magnets. Now you do have to be careful that when you are docking it, that you try and get it spot on, because if you're gonna be slipping around like that, the little prongs on the back of the dock that could scratch up the bottom of the tablet. Uh, so you've got to be careful about that. So the, the trackpad here does support Windows 10 gestures. And you do have physical clicky left and right mouse clicks, which is good to see. I hate just gesture only pads. It's uh, reasonably sensitive and not too bad of a trackpad. Uh, it's definitely not the best trackpad you'll ever use for sure. Now we do have that USB 2 port on the side here. The build quality of the keyboard is lacking a little and it's not as good as the metal housing on the rear of the, the tablet itself. It's a little flimsy, flexes a little bit and it's quite light. And there you can see the docking mechanism. There is no actual latch on it anymore. There's not like that physical spring loaded latch that the earlier models had. And the, the same port there at the bottom there to connect up. It is a shame that this USB port is only a USB 2 port. I would have loved to that being USB 3 to take advantage of um, docks and whatnot. So never mind. And you can see the build there around here, the plastic finish, fit and finish on it is okay, but there are a few gaps here. So that's a look there at the boot up time of the ASUS T100. Thank you for watching and the keyboard. Hopefully catch you in the next video. Bye for now.